Value Spa Hollywood um, inflatable hot tub today. We did one a couple months back. It wasn't too informative. The reason why we did a quick video was when I seen the stock boy roll this one out, I wanted to research it and there was no information on it. So I made a quick little video when we set it up. And today we're going to make another video because we're actually going to change out our enclosure. We got lucky and got a beautiful day where we live. Usually we wouldn't have the opportunity to do this in December. So our canopy got a little destroyed and we're going to empty this thing. We're going to set up a new canopy and then we're going to refill and set it up and balance our chemicals and everything. Ooh. Before that, we're going to open it up and let you see it run. Okay, we're all unplugged. Um, we're gonna take our Chem Connect out. This holds your chlorine. We're gonna take our filter out. Which here is your filter housing. With inside of this, it holds um, a Roman numeral number four filter, a little filter. I bought replacement filters online. Um, I got some from a company. I don't remember the company. It seemed like every time I put a filter in here, it come would come out looking very sad, very crushed. It didn't look like it really held up to the heat, the chemicals. So we actually switched over to a new filter company, um, and I'm really happy with their filters so far. So inside of here is where your filter goes. Disconnect this, ours needs clean. Um, I buy a six pack and I try to clean them as much as mother nature allows me to use my hose. If I can't use the hose, I swap out and put a new one in. The drain plug for this thing is down inside of here. And there is a connector here. I'm not really quite sure what this does, but we're going to figure it out. In here is your connections for your egg, which would be your return line, what gives you all your air bubbles and everything like that. So we're gonna have to disconnect with these fittings here, um, and we'll get this off and moved away out of the way of the water. The plug on the outside of this looks like you could just um, connect a garden hose up to the end of it. We're going to hope gravity empties this just enough for us to flip it on its side and hose it out. We got the drain plug back and it sounds like I can hear water coming out of this side. It looks like it naturally just wants to replug itself so you'd have to definitely check that. So keep disconnecting this egg because I bet this is going to let more water out than that drain itself. We're new to doing this, so we don't exactly know what we're doing. It's kind of an experiment. Oh, it's blowing out the egg right now. I think where's the egg? I'm going to move this as far out of the way as I can. I can't take it off the porch because I have it. Um, I don't know how long 
long this is going to take, but once it's drained, we'll work on the next step. so you can redirect the water from where you don't want it flooding out any unnecessary areas. It drains very slow. The plug wants to keep jamming up the hole which continuously stops it. We flipped it over on its side once we had a safe amount of water to work with. Nothing heavy, nothing extreme, probably a quarter of an inch in the bottom. We are going to set up this Ozark Trail TP tent. It's 11 foot by 11 foot. Well, we need a good can. windbreak for mm -hmm. the area we live in. Very windy yeah. out here mm -hmm. in the cold. Um, yeah. We've had this tent for a couple years and only used it once or twice. So we're gonna see how it works for a little TP hot tub hut for us. The last one didn't last so good in the winds. No. Um, so we're gonna give this one a try. Right. All right, this is day two. We kind of put this thing up and moved it around, had to rearrange our floor mats on the bottom. We left them on the outside. As you can see, they're down there. They're just standard black mats you would see at a department store. TP tents up. Tub is inside. cleaned it all out, we added more air. One other thing that I haven't been too thrilled about on this tub is the cover. There is an inflatable inside to it, it doesn't hold air. And when we took everything apart yesterday and cleaned everything, we discovered that it's actually holding a lot of water. I'll show that as well. So tubs in the teepee, we got the egg in here. We disconnected it and put it in the house last night because it got pretty cold. So I'm gonna show you how the valves connect. I'm solo today. My daughter was my camera girl yesterday. 
So these all butt up in here. This black valve on the back over here, that's where you add air. You line these up, make sure they're twisted and connected pretty tight. You don't want any water leakage here. Pretty simple. I'll tighten them real good before we turn this thing on. This back one has a gasket. This slides over, make sure everything's lined up real good. Nice and tight. I've heard that that black gasket in there will leak over time. So we'll get that all tightened up. Drain plug is put back in the floor. We did a quick rinse out, quick scrub. We're gonna start filling it. It's probably 45 to 50 degrees here today. We are gonna fill with the garden hose, but I'm gonna bucket some hot water in. What I thought was pretty cool about this Ozark Trail TP tent is it does have a slip through for your electrical cord. Unfortunately, I didn't want my door on the back side that took all the wind, so I'm gonna run mine out the bottom crack of the door. My outlet is down under the porch on that far side. Uh, uh. All right, so we're filling. Axle's filling. Our water isn't coming out too great. We are tapped into the, an aquifer. Uh, if we have bad storms, it gets a little cloudy. Uh, we had storms two days ago. So we're gonna run a fresh filter, new filter. I mentioned the filters I got that I did not like. These ones right here have been pretty awesome. They hold their shape, easy to clean. When I say hold their shape, I mean all the the white little fans in there seem to be crushed, just not firm. I've also had some where this rubber topping right here has almost turned into Play-Doh. So while we are filling, we're going to put a new filter in. We're pretty much good, just waiting for it to fill and warm up and clear up. All right, so we're gonna put our filter, and I should mention how these go. Get that new one out. This is the housing. This covers it, and then you get a little bolt to hold everything together. So this opens up. That goes in there. Put your lid back on, line everything up. Flip this over. This bolt goes in the top. All right, there's a couple things I wanted to go over. Tub is up to temp, my water's clear. For some reason, the weird tinting within the water, that's gotta be the lighting within the TP. The little circular thing at the bottom, right there, that's where the filter goes. I explained how to put that all together. That simply just screws on. The one above that is a chem connect. That's where your little chlorine tablets go. It takes a one inch chlorine tablet. I have noticed that they do vary in thickness. You need the thinner ones to get them to fit inside that really good. That just screws on to your return jet. I have noticed if you take that off and let it float like a pool floater, you see a significant increase in your heat. I was in it this morning for about an hour and a half. I started at 104. It's down to 99. I've had it uncovered for just a little bit though. I wanted to mention that when you initially take this out of the box, 
they provide you an attachment that attaches to your egg to fill your tub. Anytime I've added air to the cover of the tub, I actually do it with my Kirby vacuum. I'm super thrilled at the heat that this tent holds in. It's nice to be able to stand up and dry off without freezing. I am excited that I have windows to see out of now. When I lowered my instant canopy, it was almost like crawling into a cave. You couldn't see anything. It's a little tight in here when it comes to taking off the cover, but it works. We don't need a whole lot of room. We're just in there to enjoy the tub. We had a pretty windy day the other day and the tent held up great. I put little sections of OSB board over the tabs where I drilled it into the porch just to prevent any ripping. I haven't figured out what's going on with the lights yet because that cord actually does not reach down to my outlet yet. Um, I'm not really worried about that because I have a bunch of Christmas lights plugged in at the moment. But so far, this has been an awesome purchase. I'm super happy with this tub. Jets are powerful. I'll run them one more time so you guys can see. Control panel's super easy to use. You got your power. You can change it from Celsius to Fahrenheit. We operate in Fahrenheit where I'm at. You got your heater, your bubbles, your filter. When you run the heater, the filter automatically turns on. It does have a timer setting where you could turn the tub on and off through the timer. I haven't quite figured that out yet, but I leave ours run at 104 degrees at all times, 24 seven. When the tub gets to temp, this heat light here will actually turn green and that's when your heater's in rest mode. So it does give itself a little bit of a break. I have not noticed a significant increase in my electric bill and we've had this for about four months. So you'd unlock it. You hear that beep, which means it's unlocked. That gives you access to control anything. This right here turns your temperature up or down. I keep mine at 104. I love the hot water. This here starts your jets. They're pretty powerful for a little inflatable tub. Then when you want to turn them off, we just push that button again. But if you have ran them for some time, this will actually lock. So you'll have to unlock it again to be able to use its features. Other than that, I think I've touched base with everything I could think of on this little tub. I hope you guys enjoyed my video.